What are you doing? Tying your bullshit. My what? Your bullshit. Oh, no. Whose truck is this? Not this truck. Eh, it's not bad. Some white ass wheels. Oh, oh. Oh, what's that? They probably don't even know who I am, huh? Cool. The people from the YouTube. Oh, that not really work. What the hell? All right, so what are we doing today? It's this is my hard body, and this is the new ECU that I'm gonna be putting on. Well, he is actually. Only has one arm. Yeah, I only have one arm. What happened was. Well, first of all, you guys need to know who I am. You guys won't won't recognize me. Here, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you guys on the roof. It's been how many years? Three. Oh, so, a little over four years. Yeah, so a lot a lot has changed. And since he's doing all the work for me, it's because I broke my collarbone. That's that's no fun. And I'm wearing a mask just because I'm gonna be he, taking he the video. No, I don't have Corona yet. I say yeah. You want to just zip tie this like this? Or? Let's just leave Before it. Before you're not even recording. Yeah, yeah. Full. Do like a little spinny thing right here. And then... No, hold on. No, that's too much spinny thing. Well, yeah, that's good enough. And then just zip tie it to the column right here. It's full. The zip tie is backwards. There you're you backwards. Go. No, I'm not backwards. That's good. I don't really cut those off, but I mean, it helps. Weight reduction. Sure, weight reduction. So this is a truck I have. It's got long tube headers, which I branded myself because they're Chinese brand. I deleted a whole bunch of emission stuff here. Got this thing, you know. It's the, people say it's the best you can get for the price that it is, because it's fully standalone. It works on different engines. On the, for, for this one, it's the KA24E single cam off the 246 or in hard bodies. It'll work for the SR20 and the DE, S15 and S13, S14 as well. Comes with an options plug so you could do electric fans and such. This is optional, but I bought it anyways. It's a GM air intake, intake air temperature sensor with a pigtail. How much was it? Like 20 bucks. And it comes with a tuning, tuning cable. But you're gonna need an adapter. That's what I got here. It does not come with the adapter. You need to get that separately. We got the seat removed to one side, and that's the ECU right there. It's kind of ugly looking. You do, however, need to run a vacuum line from the engine all the way back because there's a map sensor built into the ECU on the Mega Square. The line's already ran, there's vacuum in there. You know, we gotta take off that, that 10. We're gonna take off these other three bolts holding the ECU because it's close to hitting the seat, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna sit on the ECU. The instructions say specifically to tee it where the uh, the thing I'm above is the fuel pressure regulator is. So that's what I did. Wait, hold on! Don't unplug it yet. Oh, yeah, Never mind. I was gonna unplug the battery. Where's my tools? Like the 11. This full. You disconnected the positive side. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's the same thing as disconnected and negative. You don't want to use my ratchet. So you can try it out, fool. Oh yeah, I got these other wheels. Earthquake XT from uh, Harbor Freight. It's uh, it's not bad. It's, it's good. I've had it for almost a year now. Hey, fool, check it. Um, using my. Oh, you're using your Milwaukee. Blah blah blah, Milwaukee. It's a good brand. We have about, I don't know, two sets. Let's compare the old one to the new one. So this, the part number on this thing is, uh, what the hell is it? It's, for, it's from DIY Autotune. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Oh, there it is. Focus. Focus. There you go. It's the MSPNP2. It stands for plug and play. It's the NS89294 because that's for the KAs. 89 to 94s. It's plug and play. You can see the connector. 
you know, exactly the same as the as the stock one. Let's uh, well. This comes with the stock. Soy sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, you gotta put soy sauce in the connector to keep the electrodes from corroding. Ready for dinner? Just gonna record the thing. Nah, put it in. Does it connect? All right, we're done. No, I'm kidding. Damn, you're gonna use a ratchet on that? I'm gonna slowly use a ratchet. Make sure you torque it to yield. No, I'm kidding. We should probably just put in like two bolts in there or self tapper screws or something of that nature. Hey man, what's that little baggie right there? This one? Yeah. Broken windows? It's not, it's probably the previous owner had Scante in here. Now that vacuum line goes to the back. Here, flip it so they can see the map sensor. That's basically the map sensor. That's the main communication between the ECU and the, the engine. Without that, you're That's driving like blind. Yeah. yeah, it's like driving blind. So we're gonna screw it in and leave it out. Where's the even, the most even is surface right there? So it's not dancing around. All right, we've got the ECU installed. There's a screw right there. This will focus. There and there. We got the vacuum line plugged in. The options, I mean the tuning cable and then the option supports next. So I have the new AEM X series wideband, which I think the part number is 30 300 or something like that, or 3000, I don't know. And it's got these uh, wires. Obviously, it's gonna have black and the red, and I have those around over there for the power. And and the there's all right we're gonna use the blue one no nope. why what to say it just has options to support no it does not are you lying so he said to use blue where's blue focus blue oh wait wait what oh I hope it works. We're gonna need this, by the way. We're gonna need this, and we're gonna need this. Hey, Amen. We're gonna need wire from here. Goddamn, bro. Sounds like your cat's going. Or something. Or something. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, it is. Oh, so we got this thing installed. We ended up already putting started. two self-tappers. Oh, you already told him? Yeah. Hey, give this thing a like for the taquachi cut he's got on it. Hey. Yeah. What the hell is he doing? Hey man, here, hold this. Here, take the camera. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try something. Just don't fall. I don't know, I hope I don't fall. Alright, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna save that because I need a lot of Beginner. So, what did you do there? But connected it. Hey man, this thing don't focus. Oh, there we go. Did you solder that? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Whoa! Oh yeah, we need to run that, huh? Oh, yeah. Can you reach? Yes. You got that? Yes, my friend. Uh huh. All right, you got it. Check it. Uh -huh. I don't know if I should leave this. Uh, what awesome. should leave? We don't recommend you guys do it exactly the way we did it. That's because we're not taking any responsibility. 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 Because it's my truck. Responsibilities. Don't try this at home. Go find somebody that's qualified. This may cause cancer in California. No. no. Where else? Just California. What well, he said. For some odd reason. The option support plate thing. It's right there. It's already stripped too. Should only tell one wire or what? Well, I mean, I only need one wire. Why don't you put all of them in? Nah, fool. Hey, put the wire to the bottom. Okay. Through here, man. Pull it. Oh, whoa. Check it out. I don't have that type of technology. So he's gonna solder that up. All right, we got the wire for the wideband ran on the options plug. There, and it's that way. There, into there, into there. All right, now we're gonna plug in the battery 
and then fire up. So we're having an issue. I don't know why, but the computer is not communicating with the ECU. We've already tried plugging the adapter straight to the ECU and just forgetting about the tuning cable and it's doing the same thing. It was trying to connect to my phone via Bluetooth, so I turned off Bluetooth and now it doesn't scan Bluetooth. We don't know what's going on, so we're going to try to figure something out. So we can't get the computer to connect with the ECU, so we're just going to try to start it just like that. I mean, it starts, but it's... Stupid. He's gonna go get his computer. Hopefully find another cable. And he'll be back shortly. We have an issue that's pretty bad. By pretty bad, I mean insanely bad. Um, the truck does start. It does start, don't, don't even worry about that. It starts, everything's good. Well, not everything, but we cannot get the computer to connect with the ECU. In other words, either the this adapter is bad, it's just not communicating, and the key is on. Wow, this is just going to burn my wideband or, or kill the computer, the battery, I mean. And we have, what, like... Two different options? Yeah. Three actually. Either we change the baud rates on the computers, which none of us know how to do. We try another tuning cable. Or we can play this dumbass game. Bet you won't make it a 200. Bet. Am? Am? Ah, man, I told you. Or. Or I buy a laptop with the serial port built in. I think I know what the problem is. It's a computer fool. It's your haircut fool. Damn. What you say? The dinosaur's faster than your hard body. That Miata's not faster than oh, the hard shit. body. Damn. No. Let's go right now. Dude, you know my truck doesn't run. Who are you calling Paisa? You. Dude, half of this footage is going to be all blurry. The half of it's not going to go in there. This is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, whatever. This is why you keep your car stock, guys. You, you know why it doesn't work? Why? Because we're in California. Yeah. At this point, I'm just concerning. What's it called? I'm looking back at my life choices. I'll just have to figure something out. But for now, I think the best option now is to get the stock ECU sell back. It. Wait, what? Sell it. No, no, I'm not gonna sell it. Nobody's gonna give me $800 for that ECU. Damn, it's gonna give me a concussion. All right guys, so it's been seven days since we last filmed. It's raining now. Sorry about the background noise. We couldn't get head as ECU to communicate with his computer. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the tuner studio part on my computer and the Miata. So I'm gonna wanna go to tuner studio. All right, next thing you're gonna wanna do is turn your key on. There you go, you hear the fuel pump in the background. Plug your connector in, your USB connect cable thingy. Open new project. I'm gonna name this one YouTube. Go to detect. There you go. Accept. Alright. I'm gonna go to next. Uh, I can leave that all the same. Next. Next. Go. I'm not gonna mess with the dashboard. Finish. Not connect. Okay, there we go. I was about to say. There you go. So you see, TPS works. When does it start? Okay, started. So yeah, that's just on a random base map. So, once you get to this screen, you can go to Tools. This is right there. Go Calibrate. 
TPS. So off throttle, get current, put the throttle all the way down, get current, accept. And then to do your timing, if you guys don't know how to use a timing light, probably shouldn't be installed in a mega squirt. Um, let's see. You have spark, spark settings, and you'll see how it shows. Um, enabled fixed lock timing. So this part, you're gonna want to start it up. You're gonna want to go to on. All right, the idle changed. There you go. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna move your cam angle sensor or your distributor and you're gonna set it at 10 degrees. All right, so now once it's at 10, all right, you're gonna go to off, and then you're gonna go to burn, down there at the bottom. And after this, either you're gonna start driving your car, seeing where your AFR is at. Um, line right there is decent, I guess you could say. Yeah, don't start doing pulls yet. Uh, take it to a tuner, find someone that could remote tune it. Uh, remote tuning is pretty good. I got my car remote tuned and they actually did pretty good on that one. I'll leave his YouTube link up here in the corner maybe, if I don't forget. If you guys have any questions, I'll put my Instagram here. That way you guys can hit me up directly. Um, if you want to keep seeing YouTube videos of me and head out doing stuff or stuff like that, um, give it a like, comment. All that stuff, that way I can get motivated to post videos. But, other than that, I think we're done here. So, see you guys in the next one. Before I end the video on Hera's computer, uh, why it wouldn't read it, we tried a different adapter and it was the same thing. And he tried his cousin's, um, the MacBook Pro computer thingy, and it worked. So, he's driving it now. He did all the stuff I went over and it runs good so um, I'll post a video maybe of us driving it around or tuning it or something but yeah I we think it's this computer that doesn't work with the mega squirt yeah we still haven't figured it out with this computer so if you have a problem with it contact DIY AutoTune 